Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop design series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can use adjustment layers and layer masks together to create an effect like you can see on my screen here. So you can see with this image I've got this big blue filter on it, however it doesn't apply to my arm, my hand and my thumbs. Now the way that I've done that is using a layer mask and this layer mask is pretty much going to tell Photoshop not to make a change to a specific area. So so basically this little image that you can see here in the bottom right is, been, is essentially a mask. So the white area is going to be the area that it is going to make the change to and then the black area is going to be where it's telling it not to make any change to at all. We're going to be showing you how to create one of these in this video and we're also going to be showing you how you can use a layer mask later on to actually remove part of your images temporarily um, to sort of blend things into your scene. More on that later on in the video. So in terms of using the adjustment layers, like I said, you can pretty much just tell it not to make a change to that one specific part of your layer. So let me show you exactly how we can do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this image for now, uh, not the image, but the adjustment layer for now, and then we're going to create a new one. If you want to download this picture of me on my motorcycle with my thumbs up, you can get that in the download link in the description, and then you can create it or you, know, you can use your own image, it's entirely up to you. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a adjustment layer. Now, it doesn't have to be a hue and saturation layer, it's entirely up to you, it's going to work with all of these. But for me, the easiest way to show you it, the easiest one to make some change with, is going to be my hue and saturation layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create that layer and then with that I'm going to go ahead and hit colorize so I can colorize my whole scene and then I'm going to give it this light blue tint here that you can see and you can see it's really different to the original image which is quite nice. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an adjustment, uh, a layer mask. Now by default you'll usually have one on there. If you don't, all you got to do is just select the adjustment layer and then just hit create new mask at the bottom right here where my mouse is and then you'll get this. Now with your adjustment layer, you've got the adjustment layer itself and then to the right of that you've also got this white image which is your mask. This is your layer mask, but like I said the white bit is the bits that is going to be a change and then the black bits are going to be the bits that you don't want it to make a change to. Now if we want to paint onto this and actually mask a section out of this, for example if you wanted to you can mask out the car in the background there, you could mask out my arm, my motorcycle or any of that, all you've got to do is pretty much just paint black onto this image and it will do exactly what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a brush tool and then I'm going to select black as my foreground and then I'm just going to click and I'm going to paint on it and you can see it's actually going to go back to the normal color, the original color and that looks quite nice. Now, however, as the moment, you can see because I've got quite a large brush, it's not very precise and it doesn't look all that great. So what I'm going to do instead of painting on it like that, what I'm going to do instead is actually use the quick selection tool to select it and then paint within the region for that adjustment layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Z a couple of times to go back to normal and then I'm going to grab my quick selection tool and then I'm just going to quickly select my arm, my hand and all of that good stuff and that is a perfect selection there. If I now go and grab my paint tool, making sure I've still got the black selected and then paint within this, you can see it's going to make that it's going to stop making that change to the whole of my hand and it looks really, really nice. If we go ahead and deselect that, you can see the change has been made and that is all good. So that's pretty much everything for the adjustment layer and using layer masks is entirely up to you. If you wanted to cut off, say, the top of my finger, you can do that as well. All you've got to do is just switch to white using the little thing in the bottom left here or just select a white brush and then just paint it on and then it's going to go back to normal as you can see here. It's really, really simple to use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to delete this and I'm just going to use a normal layer mask now to mask out parts of our image. Now when we mask out part of our image it's only temporary as opposed to permanent if we was using the eraser tool. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So what I'm actually going to do is this time I'm actually going to cut out my hand of the image but it's not going to be permanent. So once again, I'm going to grab my quick selection tool and I'm just going to quickly select my hand, my mouth, uh, my hand, my arm and all of that good stuff. And then what I'm going to do is with that, I'm going to create a layer, I'm going to create a layer mask. 
If you do that with that selection pre-applied, it's automatically going to create a layer mask and it's only going to show what you've got selected. Now you could use this if you wanted to, if you just want to select that one item and only show that one item. However, if you don't, the best thing to do is to create the layer mask first by pressing the little icon in the bottom right. And then after that, what you go and do is use your quick selection tool to select the area you want to remove. And then from there, all you've got to do is with it selected, so you see the little white lines around it, just go and paint on it and paint it black. So let me show you. So if you paint it, you can see that's essentially just removing it out of our scene. And that's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So you can see my quick selection is going a little bit over there, but it's not too much of an issue. I'm just going to paint around that. And you can see now the hand has disappeared and that is pretty much masking out the image. It's completely disappeared. Now, bear in mind though, we can then go put things under this, we can move it around, but the arm is still going to be there in the Photoshop memory, we can still get to it later on. And the way that we can get to that is simply by just right clicking on our layer, deleting the layer mask, or disable the layer mask, and that will just bring it back to life, that will show it back there, it's really simple. Layer masks are really powerful and there's a lot you can do with them, but that's pretty much everything for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.